Havasu and you know just relaxing and, and kind of pulling together some of my craft work I, I've kind of mentioned in some other videos that I like to do crafting and stuff like that um, so some of what I like to do is I like to do you know wire work wire trees uh, little wire pendant kind of things um, also dream catchers and you know I kind of started picking up the dream catchers again and, and you know also learning a little bit of wood carving but today I decided to leave Havasu and go to Portside area in search of stones I, I need some you know some rocks and, and crystals and stuff like that that I can apply to the dream catchers that I, I'm going to be making planning on making a, a couple more, maybe a few more of these, um, try to get some sales, try to make some money, alright, my only outlet to that right now is craft work, so I'm really kind of focusing a lot on that lately, and hopefully I can make some money so I can keep, keep this trip going after the RTR, um, there's a lot of things I'd love to be doing out there, and a lot of places I'd like to see, including Slab City. I do plan on going to Slab City, among other places. So, you know, I've been focusing on doing some of my craft work, trying to hopefully get some sales, make a little bit of money so I can actually continue my journey after the RTR. But today, I decided I'm going to be going to Portside and checking out some of the rock shops and, and places that's going on down there. Um, I don't plan on spending a lot of money looking, you know, for some of the rocks. I, I'm just looking for a particular strand of, you know, small stones, uh, you know, beads and stuff like that. Um, it's been kind of chilly really windy through here but it's it's got some nice areas to camp out and boondock in I mean all over off of 95 here is just place after place after place you can just pull over um, I, I think it's mostly trust lands out here there's some BLM and, and uh, trust land out here and I've been mainly staying on trust land and you know I I get a little anxious just sitting around, so I, I'm picking back up. I'm gonna get over to Quartzsite and try to be a little bit more active. I do have a website. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the craft work that I am selling, and I'm gonna make a list uh, on the website. So I'll put a link on here for that. In case anybody wants to help me on on my journey, uh, if anything interests you, definitely hit me up, uh, and we can go from there. But yeah, today is gonna be hunting for stones. So leaving Lake Havasu on my way to Quartzsite. We will talk later. So I just, I just got to court site and I was on my way to one rock shop. Um, I did pass one on the way down, um, but I thought I would go ahead and stop at one of the local monuments. Um, it's called High Jolly Monument. It's a cemetery. So I'm just going to kind of get out and take a look and, you know, see what it's all about.
right, so that was an interesting little place, a little cemetery with a monument to a Syrian camel herder. I think it, like, it I want to say it was late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, yeah, neat little place anyway. I am now on my way to check out a rock shop and see if I can find something that I can use. So that was just kind of a look at the tea rock shop here in Quartzsite. They have a lot of really neat stuff here. Um, I found what I was looking for. I got, I got a nice little strand of more amethyst. I love coloration uh, of amethyst. I just like, I guess I like purple. But uh, anyway, um, I got the stones that I wanted so I can continue making more of the dream catchers but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and drive to the RTR location now I I've had my feel of courtside area um, kind of been around town here and there and you know checked out some of the places and shops and but for now I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out the RTR and see what we're up against let's go take a look Park right up with the event. So a lot, a lot of camping spots. We'll talk later. 